face Pastor Jennings with the Bible. I don't care nothing about your phone calls, threats. You know how many threats come into Frank to uh, Lindley Avenue here? They've been threatening me from Frankfurt Avenue, Lindley Avenue. I get threats everywhere I travel. I'm not moved by threats. Put up or shut up. Come on here with your rainbow flag and all your little hot pants. That don't bother us. Not at all. Basically, your retaliation proved that what I'm preaching is the truth. Because if what I'm saying is incorrect, it won't bother you. He kept saying in his uh, phone calls that I'm misrepresenting the homosexual community. No, you misrepresenting men. In the world of charismatic and passionate religious leadership, few names command more attention than T.D. Jakes and Gino Jennings. Both men lead powerful ministries, draw thousands of followers, and inspire countless individuals with their powerful messages of faith, morality, and spiritual growth. However, behind the public personas, an unseen battle has been brewing between the two, which eventually burst into the public spotlight. A clash of ideologies, personalities, and private matters led to one of the most significant controversies in modern Christian ministry a lawsuit filed by T.D. Jakes against Gino Jennings. What caused this intense dispute between these two prominent religious figures? How did a disagreement about faith and leadership spiral into a legal battle? The answers lie in the depths of religious discourse, the role of pastors in their congregations, and the consequences of revealing private matters in a public arena. To understand the gravity of this conflict, it's essential to first explore who T.D. Jakes is and why his role as a religious leader has made him a revered figure across the globe. Thomas Dexter T.D. Jakes is the founder and bishop of the Potter's House, a megachurch located in Dallas, Texas, that boasts over 30,000 members. Jakes is renowned for his charismatic preaching style, his best-selling books, and his influence not only within the Christian community, but also in broader society. His ministry extends beyond the pulpit into film, television, and social initiatives. His message of hope, healing, and personal transformation resonates with millions of people worldwide. For many, Jakes is seen as a spiritual father figure, offering wisdom on both spiritual and practical matters such as relationships, business, and overcoming personal struggles. While his ministry thrives in the public eye, Jakes has always maintained a private life away from the scrutiny of the media. His family, personal life, and inner circle remain largely shielded from the public. This balance between his public influence and personal privacy is a key element in understanding the gravity of the conflict with Gino Jennings. On the other hand, Gino Jennings is a vastly different type of religious leader. Based in Philadelphia, Jennings leads the First Church of Our Lord Jesus Christ a ministry that takes a hardline approach to biblical teachings. Jennings is known for his fiery and unapologetic preaching style, often condemning what he sees as corruption or moral failings within the broader Christian community. Jennings' ministry focuses on returning to the original teachings of the Bible and living a life that strictly adheres to biblical standards. His sermons often critique other religious leaders whom he believes have strayed from the true message of Christianity. In his view, the modern church has become too comfortable with worldly pleasures, and he sees it as his mission to call out leaders who, in his eyes, compromise their faith for personal gain or fame. Jeno Jennings is not afraid to call out high-profile figures by name, including other pastors, musicians, and even politicians. His boldness has earned him both a devoted following and many critics. His straightforward and often controversial style of preaching makes him a polarizing figure, but for those who believe in his message, he is a fearless warrior for the truth. The roots of the conflict between T.D. Jakes and Gino Jennings are deeply ideological. Jennings has long been critical of what he perceives as the commercialization of Christianity, particularly in the context of megachurches and celebrity pastors. To him, the gospel should be pure and unadulterated, free from the influence of wealth, fame, and media. 
He has openly criticized pastors who, in his view, use the church as a platform for personal gain rather than spiritual growth. T.D. Jakes, with his vast media empire and influence, became a prime target for Jennings' critique. Jennings saw Jakes as a symbol of the prosperity gospel movement, which promotes the idea that faith can lead to material wealth and success. For Jennings, this was a distortion of the true Christian message, and he felt compelled to speak out. However, what started as theological disagreements soon escalated into something far more personal. Jennings' critiques of Jake's became more pointed, focusing not just on his ministry, but on aspects of Jake's personal life. It was at this point that the conflict began to spiral out of control. Gino Jennings is known for his unfiltered approach to addressing what he believes are the faults of other religious leaders. In his sermons and public speeches, Jennings began to shift his focus from Jake's theology to more personal matters. According to sources, Jennings allegedly exposed certain aspects of T.D. Jake's private life that had never been discussed in public before. The nature of these revelations is unclear, but they were enough to cause a stir among both Jake's and Jennings' followers. Jennings' claims touched on deeply personal matters related to Jake's family, relationships, and possibly even financial dealings. For Jake's, this crossed a line. While theological debates were one thing, exposing his private life in such a public way was another matter entirely. T.D. Jakes, known for his calm and composed demeanor, found himself at the center of a storm he had not anticipated. As rumors and accusations began to spread, Jakes decided to take legal action to protect his reputation and personal life from further public exposure. The lawsuit filed by T.D. Jakes against Gino Jennings represents a significant turning point in the conflict. The lawsuit allegedly accuses Jennings of defamation, invasion of privacy, and causing emotional distress. Jakes claims that the allegations made by Jennings are not only false but were made with malicious intent to damage his reputation and standing within the Christian community. Defamation lawsuits are notoriously difficult to win especially when they involve public figures like Jake's. However, the legal case is about more than just clearing Jake's name. It's about sending a message that there are limits to how far personal attacks can go, even in the context of religious discourse. For Jake's, this lawsuit is a means of reclaiming control over his personal narrative and protecting his private life from public scrutiny. From Jennings' perspective, the lawsuit might be seen as an attempt to silence him. Jennings has always positioned himself as a truth teller, unafraid to confront even the most powerful figures in the Christian world. To him, the lawsuit could be viewed as an attack on free speech and his right to call out what he sees as hypocrisy in the church. As the news of the lawsuit spread, reactions from the public were swift and divided. Jake's followers rallied behind him, defending their pastor's right to privacy and condemning Jennings for what they saw as a personal vendetta. For many, Jakes was not just a religious leader but a symbol of hope and transformation, and the lawsuit was seen as a necessary step to protect his legacy. Jennings' followers, on the other hand, saw the lawsuit as further proof that their pastor was standing up against the corruptions of the modern church. To them, Jakes represented everything that was wrong with the commercialization of Christianity and Jennings was simply doing his duty by exposing the truth, no matter how uncomfortable it might be. The media, always eager for a story involving high-profile figures, picked up on the drama, turning it into a major news event. Headlines speculated about the nature of the allegations, the potential fallout from the lawsuit, and what it could mean for the future of both pastors' ministries. This conflict between T.D. Jakes and Gino Jennings highlights larger issues within both the church and society at large. At its core, this lawsuit is about the boundaries of privacy, especially for public figures who live much of their lives in the spotlight. Where does the line between public accountability and personal privacy lie? For Jakes, maintaining a level of privacy is crucial not only for his personal well-being, but also for the integrity of his ministry. He believes that exposing personal matters that have no bearing on his public role is harmful and unjust. On the other hand, 
Jennings' perspective is that as religious leaders, pastors are held to a higher standard. And if there are personal failings, they should be exposed in the interest of truth and accountability. As the lawsuit makes its way through the legal system, the question remains, will it resolve the conflict between T.D. Jakes and Gino Jennings? Will the legal process help to clear the air, or will it deepen the divide between these two influential pastors? Regardless of the outcome, this legal battle has already had a profound impact on both men and their ministries. Jakes continues to lead his congregation, but the lawsuit has brought unwelcome attention to his personal life. Jennings, meanwhile, has gained even more notoriety as a result of the case, with some seeing him as a martyr for the cause of truth.